to commit that conversation in a strong way to the extent that we find out that one of the ways to addressing the suit issue and make it a legislative issue was to extract and amend what we have as a river state environmental protection amendment, um, I mean, protection law. I'm sure you all are aware we have, I mean, the national uh, environmental protection and management uh, law. I'm sure you are all aware of the national law. So we said we will amend that and we pushed for it. And fortunately, today, the governor immediately saw it and presented it as an executive bill in the name of River State Environmental Protection and Management, I mean, and Management Amendment Bill of 2022, which became an extract for the suit bill. So I needed to make that clear so you understand how the dynamics was. That was the exact beginning of the journey that we needed. This legislative approach to addressing suit, which is one of the things that uh, we have to work on. And then if we look at it, we now did the first reading. The first reading was strategic. We now did the uh, move presented, second reading. We did third, then we went to public hearing. It was a house full of every and anybody interested in suit. I tell you for free. Ironically, we didn't see a couple of other people that would have loved to see here. But of course, we were all represented under the civil side front from the River State Network of NGOs. And we presented that one. At the end of the day, we were able to come up with what I call the bill here, which is the law, the River State um, Environmental Protection and Management Law, so the amended law for River State, which can use comfortably for, for advocacy. And this law now.